President Barack Obama says the economy is moving in a positive direction, but the August jobs report was not good enough and more steps need to be taken. U.S. Labor Secretary Hilda Solis joins us now from the White House. Welcome. Nice to see you. Can you Happy outline? Hello. Can you outline for us what steps the administration is planning to take? Well, we know that one of the priorities is to provide tax breaks for small businesses. And there's a piece of legislation that's pending in the Senate. And the president has urged members of the Senate and the Congress, as soon as they get back after Labor Day, to vote positively, affirmatively to help all small businesses. And this will help to provide more lending, a more capital to businesses that need to expand and are, are urgently in need of this support so we can hire up more people in the private sector. That bill did not get passed before the break. Uh, do you think there will be cooperation, not just from the Republican Party, but some of the Democrats as well? I, I believe so. This is a bill that is paid for. I also would like to uh, underscore the fact that in the past eight months, we've seen job growth in the private sector. On an average, it's about 90,000 per month. And this report that was just issued uh, also indicates that there continues to be uh, growth in the different private sector manufacturing, mining, healthcare industry, just on a very broad level. Has the labor market turned the corner for sure? I would say that we can still probably ex expect more ups and downs, but I know that where the president is taking us is on the right path. And I would say that most economists and even the CBO has said that the previous uh, Reinvestment Act has, has provided, provided at least an attempt to help stop the hemorrhaging and the job loss. You know, when he took office, we were losing well over 740,000 jobs. A lot of people are looking ahead and trying to see when there is some light at the end of the tunnel. We're hearing comments from the Atlanta Fed President Dennis Lockhart who said today the unemployment rate will come down slowly and that a realistic unemployment rate is five and a half to six percent. Do you agree with that? You know, I'm not an economist. All I do is report on the uh, data that's presented to me each month by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. But I can tell you that the path that we've taken, that this administration has taken to get us out of the ditch that we were in for such a long time, I think we're starting to recoup and we're starting to see those jobs come back. What was most encouraging in this particular report when you broke down each, looking at each sector and took a look at it? Well, I think overall we've seen growth uh, in different sectors, but one that took my attention was the uh, growth in construction, the addition of 19,000 jobs, and the continuation of actually seeing more jobs being created in industries, in the mining industry, in the oil and refinery area. We saw job growth there where people were pessimistic, thinking that somehow that would go away. That hasn't that hasn't. Uh, not occurred, at least at this point. We didn't see any change in the average work week. A lot of times that can be a leading indicator that there will be more hiring ahead. What do you make of that? Well, you did see more uh, overtime, so people are earning a little bit more. And I would hope that once we do provide passage and relief for small business owners, that they would hire up more people and then we can actually see more growth occurring across the board. What about these discouraged workers who've simply given up? The unemployment rate is still sub stubbornly high. That'll be in the headlines tomorrow. Uh, wh where is the turnaround for them, do you think? When do you see them trying to re-enter the labor force and start looking for jobs? Actually, in this report, there's actually been a decrease. It actually went down a bit. So we know that there continues to be individuals that are discouraged, but we want to drive them to some of our offices that we call one-stop centers. So I advise people to go on the internet, look us up at dol.gov, and they can download information about their nearest location, learn about job skills, learn about training programs that we offer, and also if they need to apply for other assistance, we can help them with that. U.S. Labor Secretary Hilda Solis, thanks so much. Thank you. I'm Rhonda Schapler. This is Reuters.